Hi everyone, my name is Haley Voorhees with Make Music Cincinnati. Thanks for joining us for our instrument demonstration videos. Today, my friend Doug is going to introduce to you a member of the brass family. Can you guess what it is? Let's see. <laughs> Hi there, my name is Doug Lindsay. I play trumpet with the Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra of the Cincinnati Pops and also teach at Miami University. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit today about the trumpet, my favorite instrument. You know, the trumpet didn't always look like this. Hundreds of years ago, actually, the trumpet didn't have all of this stuff on it that I'm gonna tell you about in a second, these slides and these valves. Hundreds of years ago, all the trumpet was was something that looked like this. It had a mouthpiece, like our modern day trumpet, and it had brass or silver colored tubing, like our modern day trumpet. And it was played in the same way. You would buzz your lips into the mouthpiece, and then the instrument would turn that into a sound. much sounds the same as the modern trumpet. The difference was it was pretty limited in the number of notes it could play. Now you may be saying to yourself, how is it that he's getting those different notes? Well, what trumpeters did back then is they would increase the tension in their lips or loosen it or make the buzz go higher or the buzz go lower something like that. The trumpet itself, kind of like a garden hose, is if you buzz your lips into a garden hose, it sort of notches on the different notes, and these are called harmonics. And that's the way the trumpet worked for hundreds and hundreds of years. Composers got to be a little bit bored with that. And so when the Industrial Revolution happened, they invented the valves. Now what the valves do is, you push them down. I call them valves, but they're really pistons like in a car. If you push down a piston, it engages another length of tubing. Like this. Oops, it comes off. That piece of tubing makes the whole instrument a little bit longer. And we have three different sections that we can engage. We have a very short one right here, and we have the longest one right here. And then if we put them all three down, we can engage all of those tubes and make the trumpet quite long. Remember, the bigger the instrument, the longer the instrument, the lower the sound. So watch what happens when I play with these valves going down slowly. I can get seven different notes. Now what we do as trumpet players is we practice a lot and we learn how to take those seven different positions and we can play all the notes of the scale, unlike the old, uh, the old ancient trumpets. trumpet can be a pretty fancy sounding instrument at that point. To me, it's the greatest of all instruments in the orchestra and the band. It's brilliant, it's clear, it's resonant, and it's a lot of fun to play. I hope you enjoyed my little presentation about the trumpet. Thank you. Well, that was pretty awesome. Even I want to play the trumpet now. Thanks, Doug, for the awesome information about the trumpet. To learn more about our next instruments, Make sure to check back with us on Facebook or subscribe to us on YouTube. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.